Hey friends, and welcome back to RK Trader Center. For those of you that are just watching this for the first time, my name is Roy, and along with my wife Kim, we go to various places looking for undervalued items that we can sell online. For those of you that have been watching for a while, well, you may have noticed that we weren't around last week. And it's because we had a few things going on. First of all, let me just say welcome to the channel. I'm glad you all are back, and I'm glad you're here watching today. So what happened? Well, our beloved Beagle Bassett named Chrissy passed away. And that's kind of why I'm wearing this shirt with Snoopy on it. Snoopy was a Beagle and we're really going to miss her. And some of you may have seen her in the videos that we had and we are going to miss her quite a lot. She was 15 years old and had a great life. The second reason is, well, the weather. Weather gets really, really cold and it was kind of cold. And inside my little room right here, it does get really cold. So I don't like to do much videotape and I try not to hang her out in here too long when it's really below temperatures like that. And the third reason is, well, Kim and I decided that we're going to do like millions of other Americans and we were going to get the virus. That's it. We just got had to take our time and recover. So we're back and today is going to be a what sold video. I'm going to show you some items that sold overnight, have about 10 items or so, maybe a little bit more, a couple of them waiting for payments. So we're going to go ahead and see what those items are. I'm going to tell you and show you where the, what I paid for them, where I got them from and what I sold them for. So before I get started and pull the first item, I just want to say thanks to everybody out there who is a viewer and subscriber of the channel. We hit 40,000 subscribers and that could not have happened without you. We are so thankful for each and every single one of you, whether you're a subscriber or a viewer. We want to thank you all so much. So keep watching to the end of the video because I have something more to talk about on that subject. But the first thing that sold is actually something I didn't source for. It's actually something I had. And what it is, is a while back I had a truck and a trailer. And when if you've ever pulled a trailer, a big trailer, then sometimes you need some mirror extensions. So right up here, I sold this bag right here, which is Snap and Zap mirror extensions and that's what's inside this bag and i'll show you a picture now this is something that i paid probably about 60 dollars for originally when it was new but because i sold the truck and trailer and no longer needed them i went ahead and listed them and they sold for 35 dollars plus shipping so i went digging through my shirt bin so i could go ahead and pull this one out and show you this is a hawaiian shirt and it's made by the hilo hattie company and if you don't know hawaiian shirts for one will generally sell for pretty good money especially if they've got a lot of design on them well this one doesn't have a lot of design but it's made by hilo hattie as i said and hilo hattie is a place or based out of hawaii and they make some really nice hawaiian shirts and they're very popular this one is a thrift shop find. I probably paid about $2 for it. And this one sold for $18.99 plus shipping. Well, since we were on our little quarantine and taking a little time off, I did post a bunch of items. And one item that I listed last week is something that just sold and it's in this media bin. And this is it right here. This is the Simpsons season 10 DVD box set. This is a thrift store find. I paid $2 for it. It's still factory sealed, brand new, and this sold for $22 plus shipping, and this will go out media mail. And if you don't know, media mail is great for sending records, LPs, tapes, cassettes, things like that. Not blank ones, do they gotta have stuff on them, magazines, without advertisements, and media mail will go out for a good price. This will probably go out for about $3.60. Well, one thing I talked about in my last video was that I had picked up a whole bunch of American Heart Association keychains a while back at a thrift shop. I paid about $10 for a large lot of them and they've been selling really good. And I said that I might sell them in a one big bulk lot or something like that. And I just haven't got around to doing that. And they're still selling. Like I said, I only paid $10 for this huge lot of them and I still sold two more. So I sold a heart and I sold the unicorn. And they go out at, to the same buyer and they sold for $8.95. And I'm really, really happy about getting those kind of prices. Like I said, I only paid $10 for the huge lot of them. And each time I sell two of them, it's $8.95. So I don't know whether or not to list them as a bulk or just go ahead and keep selling them individually. I'm making my money for them, but I don't know. Put down in the comments what you think I should do. Should I just keep selling them like this or should I sell them in one big lot? So something else that I just sold is in this big box here and I've already got it wrapped up. Let me get over to the table 
and I will show you what it is. So I sold the items inside this large priority shipping box. So what's inside here? Well, I'll show you a picture and talk about them. This is a set of 25 homemade golf club covers. And I found them while I was at a garage sale. Now they were selling each set for about $2 a set. And I guess that they had made a whole bunch of golf club head covers for a giveaway or something like that. And they had a whole bunch left over. So they were selling them $2 a set. And I was talking to the guy about them. And one thing I thought about is I sell a lot of golf clubs individually. And I was thinking maybe I would get them and use them to cover up the golf club, kind of protective when I did a shipping and mailing. And I thought that was just kind of silly. I thought about selling them individually. Well, after talking to the guy, he offered me all of them for $10. And I thought about it and I said, you know, I really don't want to sell homemade golf club covers. Maybe if they had a brand name or something like that, they would be worth it. But for me, I just didn't think so. Well, he ended up lowering the price to $5 and said, you can take them all for $5. Okay, I couldn't pass that up. $5, I took them. And I decided to go ahead and sell them in one big giant lot. And these sold for $45 plus shipping. So it didn't take but about three days for me to get them sold. And I sold them. And what I listed in the title was a resale lot, like a junk drawer. And you can kind of read the title and see it there probably. Good sale. Well, as you can see over here, I've got three Coleman little cooler, drink coolers. And I've had them for a little while. Generally if they're a unique color besides red or if they've got some logo or design on them that was made from the factory representing something they'll sell for pretty good but still coleman coolers they sell all right and another one that i have is an igloo cooler and that's this one right here now this one i've actually had for a little while and it's an igloo brand cooler it's just a little lightweight red and white one and I went ahead and took an offer because since I've had it sitting for a while and this sold for $14 and I think I paid 50 cents for it at a garage sale. So inside the M3 bin are some items I picked up out of a hardware box or a lot box that had a whole bunch of tools and different stuff in it. And when I say hardware, it is hardware. So inside here we have these right here. And these are a bag full of drawer pulls. These are in that hardware box and drawer pulls can generally make some good money, especially if they're older vintage or have made out of Bakelite or glass. These are just antique looking bronze or brass looking hardware pulls, drawer pulls. And these I sold on sale for $12.59 plus shipping and they came out of that box lot that I paid five dollars for and got a whole bunch of tools so everything I'm making out of that box is just profit because the first item I sold out of that box made my money back and I still got a bunch more tools to go all right so I sold an item that you probably won't understand unless you're 35 years or older and it's a board game now I know if you don't have to be 35 years old to understand a board game but this board game yeah, you might have to understand because you probably never saw it before. This is called Where's the Beef? It's an old Milton Bradley game, and this actually came from a commercial where it was originated. It's a very big, fluffy fun. Where's the beef? And it was a funny commercial. There were some old ladies talking about where's the beef when they took the hamburger buns off of there because the patties were so small, and they ended up becoming so popular it turned into a board game and a bunch of other novelty things. So this Where's the Beef board game is complete and is sold for $25.99 plus shipping. Yeah. Who would have thought you can make money off of something like this? And if you're wondering, I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. Well, not every item that I sell is a home run. In fact, this is a t-shirt that I've had for quite a while. Generally, if I run a sale, I run a sale for a week or less, maybe a few days, and I run a 10, 15% sale on items I've had for quite a while. Well, I've had some shirts that I picked up a long while back that I probably shouldn't have picked up. This is part of that sale, and I ran a 30% sale on a lot of things that I've had for maybe around a year or longer. And this shirt was probably something at one time I thought that I was gonna make a lot of good money for. I think I paid maybe a dollar for it. And I honestly don't even remember if I picked it up at a thrift shop or a garage sale, 
but this is a very nice superman shirt still look brand new and it ran on that sale so it sold for six dollars and 29 cents plus shipping so i'm not making really hardly any money out of this deal but at least i'm blowing out some of those items that i need to get rid of so i also got three records that sold they sold to one buyer it was a three record lot they're inside the house so let me go grab those real quick and we'll talk about those all right guys well i'm inside the house with my lovely wife kim which you only see every once in a while because she's usually quite busy and not on the camera too often but this is our interior office let me show it to you really quick for those of you that haven't seen it this is our ebay office on the inside it used to be a bedroom which will probably become a bedroom again in the future because we have some other plans of how we want to make our little ebay office and it's probably not going to be in this room anymore so we do a lot of moving around but i did sell three records yeah kim's been listing a whole bunch of records in fact we actually listed a bunch of records and then we got some more your brother <laughs> brought some more records so that was really good so you've been listing records and i've sold three Waylon Jennings records that's what we're going to pick up out of her little closet area yeah. And it was a one lot set that sold to one person. So I'm gonna let you find those records. And if you wanna do any explaining of what you do. Okay. Um, we had large lots of records, um, 45s. In the 78s. Yeah, 78s. And um, so we got a little cheapy record player and I test out most of them if they look like they're kind of old or just to make sure they're not, you know, worn or anything. So do you just... actually listen to each record not each one the ones that look fairly new i don't honestly unless i like the artists but um if if they're older and they the cardboard sleeves looks a little iffy i will listen to it and make sure that it's placed and everything the whole record or you do just kind of yeah, skip through it three or four songs and flip it over and that kind of thing so listen to both sides yeah okay. both sides look at it and i do clean them a little bit not every one but the ones that look like they've been you know pretty um uh used used <laughs> so, <laughs> lovingly used so you and still got all these records down yeah, there and these, some more? Are, these are what i have left and when you see that my little closet area you'll see i've been really busy um posting so what i normally do is i'll grab a bunch and i'll go sit in my chair <laughs> right and I'll look them up on eBay, see what sold, um, what people are asking, um, if I do have a diamond in the rough that's worth some money. Um, and I'm not a, a connoisseur of records, so <laughs> I don't really um, know a lot. So about you just basically list. look at the sold comps on eBay yeah. to get a rough estimate yes. of what the price is worth. Yes. Yeah, that's what everybody should yeah. do. And then there's a number and um, let me see if i can find one that i can see because i have my glasses there is a number on most records and if it's not on the cover it's on the inside of the um, record uh -huh. um and i'll put the number and usually you can look it up it's really easy or this number and you look it up and put the title and it pops right up i i haven't had one record that hasn't popped up somewhere well that's good i mean maybe a couple but there it's very rare and then i and a lot of times people have already listed them for a long time because i'm rather late in the game <laughs> so they have all the information and then i pull the record out and in the description it'll ask i i figured this out i guess this is the inlay of the uh -huh. record it looks good you can read if i can read the writing and everything like that i'll say i don't never say mint right because I mean, they're not mint. New, they're all no, used they're right. all used but i'll put very good um yeah. you know and i feel i'm pretty safe with it. that's good because i've had people ask questions about yeah. do we listen to every record and yeah. how do we grade a record and things yeah. like that so basically you'll just look up the ebay comps see what they're selling for if it's that's a good looking record right yeah, there and you can hold it up and kind of look to see if it's you if know, it's got any warpage or anything or plus or when you play it on the record player i noticed that you look at that too yeah so you and i also put on there which i know if i was buying a record i'd want it i think it would make a difference is some records have the paper sleeves inside or a plastic 
So they're kind of double protected. Right. And the one thing I will um, note is if the cardboard cover slit on both sides, I'll take a small piece of tape as probably, I don't know if that's good or bad. That's just something I do to keep the record in. Um, I don't know if it, it hurts the value, but I would, if I was buying a used record and it was slit, I would hopefully that someone would tape well, it to hold it in. Right. Well, these um, are all used records, so yeah. there's not anything that's going to be just astronomically, uh, you know, high range, brand new, still sealed. They're yeah. all used. Yeah. So, and then I look on, I take a picture of the front and back and sometimes I'll, um, to give you an example, I'll put them on my record player. I love this little record player. It was like forty seven dollars. It was so cheap. And then oh and then I'll put this back here. We'll turn this little light on back yeah. here so you get and a little bit more. I'll take a picture of that. And so they know that I put it on the record player. Alright, the polkas. <laughs> I don't polka dance. I don't mean that. no stop. <laughs> okay, you can cut that off. Okay, so there's that. So, and, um, and then it, of course you can change it to a 45. So I've been doing a lot of lots with ones that, um, like there's two poker records I'll do. Well, I just like what sold book. just now is we yeah. sold the Whaling Jennings three lots, yes. and I think they only sold for nine dollars and ninety nine cents, mm -hmm. but they weren't worth a lot of value. I'm guessing because you only list them for ninety nine yeah. cents. Plus you ship them out. We ship them out media mail. Yes. And we can send two pounds of records, and generally three records weighs just about two pounds, and they'll go out for about three dollars and eighty cents. Mm -hmm. So why don't we go ahead and okay. pull out those okay. three Whalen Jenny one, records? One more thing, honey. Sure. Is, um, I'll put if they're single record worth, you know, that I I, I feel is worth some money. Um, I just put it by itself, and then uh, turn it around, take a picture of the back. I will take a picture of the record and the sleeve inside, and I'll note if there's a sleeve that's inside. And not. you said you take a picture of the record while it's on the record player, yes. so it shows that, like it's that you've been listening to it, which yeah. you have been. And not every one that I do, but most, most of them. them. Okay, so we're gonna go back I'm into, into my the cl closet. <laughs> so we're gonna go into the closet now. <laughs> <laughs> all right so in the closet this is where we have a shelf that we have all of our records on these were uh lots of cassettes that uh we got and i've listed all of them and you can see there's tons. right the cassettes I, came with yeah. that bulk lot my first bulk lot of records that i bought and uh i think we've sold two they don't sell two them. lots yeah. yeah we haven't been selling them quite fast so, i think we only sold maybe two lots maybe three lots i don't know so the person that my brother brought brought us the whole bunch of records had a, a tons of 45s and they had some really really good ones i didn't find one that was scratched or they were well taken care of well taken of. care okay. of so i listed them by number and then since i had a second box i went like uh s striped a uh, one and did another skew right um, is that what it's called skew? yes skew right <laughs> all right so let's we ordered we ordered the white sleeves for the record okay so we're looking for Waylon jennings we sold three okay. records of those that's what i came in for so let's find those and here's Waylon and, jennings and, and there's three records in here and i just used okay them. why don't you show us the uh the three records then and these are just like i said you can use you can see the covers they're worn they're Waylon jennings all three of them and these only sold for nine dollars and ninety nine cents mm -hmm. for all three of them yeah. uh plus the shipping now let me ask you a question okay. do you think because like those three records only sold for nine dollars and ninety nine cents which in my opinion is pretty good because we only paid fifty dollars for all the records yeah. the first lot and then the second we've lot already made our money back. yeah so we've made our money back but in your opinion is it worth your time do you think listing these records I, I really do. At first, I was like, wow. I, I think it had to catch on that we had records for one thing, you know. It kind of pops up now. But um, I've enjoyed looking at the artists. You have to enjoy it, probably. And, you know, some of them are kind of like, ugh. Value-wise, do you think that you're getting your money's worth for your time? Yes. Anything that you make of money on ebay is a blessing if you're looking to make millions 
you're in the wrong business. Well, to some of us, but if you count everything as a blessing, gas in your car, food on the table, um, to be able to give to somebody to help out, anything is a blessing. Selling this record that cost me, what maybe a nickel when you look at the whole scheme of things in the the big bin, and you sold for nine dollars, just nine dollars. Right. Yeah. Well, I would have to say I agree. You have been working quite hard. Yeah, these are all posted. Everything's posted so, except for that green bin. Except for that other bin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to head back. Yeah, we're going to come out of the closet. <laughs> well, we really appreciate it. Kim's been working really, really hard all this. And I told you all, if you all stayed towards the end of the video, that I would have something to talk about. And because we reached our 40,000 subscriber, I decided that I have something for you. Tell you what, you hold okay. the camera. We're giving away two eBay gift cards. These are $25 value gift cards. I actually wanted to get a couple more, and so in another video at some other time, we'll probably give away a couple more. But we got two $25 gift cards, so if you want a gift card, all you have to do is leave a comment down below, and then we'll go ahead and have a drawing coming up probably next week. So keep watching all of our videos. If you like the content and you like today's video, go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Again, thank you all every 40,000 subscribers plus that we have. We really do appreciate each and every single one of you. And I try to answer all the comments whenever I can. Everyone take care, be safe, be kind to one another, have a great day. And Kim's final words. <laughs> Be healthy and take care of yourselves and love one another. Bye. Thank you all. Bye-bye.